This is the plaintiff, Rakia Malone. She says she sold the defendant a washer and dryer, and that dirty defendant hasn't paid her yet. If this woman thinks she can just wash her hands on the deal they made, then she doesn't know who she's dealing with, because today's judgment day, and she's suing her for the $250 she's most definitely owed. This is the defendant, Aliyah Jade. She says the plaintiff had no place to store the washer and dryer, so she said she'd take it off her hands for her as a favor. She had to pay her dad to pick the thing up, and they only worked one time before breaking down. Unfortunately, their relationship's now soiled beyond repair because she's not paying 250 bucks for something that was given to her. She's accused of staining a deal. All parties, please raise your right hand. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case on the docket, the plaintiff sold the defendant a washer dryer and got stiffed. But the defendant says she took the washer dryer off the plaintiff's hands as a favor. It's the case of one vicious cycle. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome, in. Okay, how do you two know each other? Um, my coworker is her sister. All right, and were you and the sister friends? Yes, we were friends. All um, right, so you had this washer dryer that was located where, at your mother's house? Yes. And you were trying to sell it? Yes. All right, how did you know she might be in the market for it? Um, her sister told me that she does hair, or that she did hair, so I got my hair done by her. And in the midst of our conversations, we talked about the washer and dryer. I mentioned it to her. Um, she texts me, I wanna say, in November about the washer and dryer. And then- All right, in... so you guys go back and forth. You decide on a price of $250, right? right? And, but she didn't have the money? No, she and told me. Where was the washer dryer located? Your it was in my mom's basement. And your mom was moving out. Right, in, in January. So it had to go. Right. Right. So what's, according to you, what is the deal that you strike? She'll take it and then she'll pay you later. Right. And according to her, she was going to pay you, according to you, she was going to pay you when her taxes came in, right? Right. All right. Did she? No. What happened? I gave her a while until taxes hit. I texted her, I reached out to her. Um, the first time I reached out to her, she said that she had to send, submit paperwork for her taxes. And then in another month, so this was in April, I texted her again and I said, hey, you know, you haven't made it a priority to pay. And by the way, when did she pick up the washer dryer? In January. Okay. And when I reached out to her again in April, she proceeded to tell me that she was going to block me and she wasn't going to pay me the money. Why? Yeah, had why? there been a problem with her sister and you? We had, me and her sister had fall, uh, fallen out. Okay. But that had nothing to do with... Well, no, it shouldn't have anything to do with it, but it did, right? It probably <laughs> like did. Like, it sounds to me like it did. What was the problem with the sister? Me and her had an incident that occurred. Well, can you give me some specifics? Um, sh mm. We had a falling out. Yeah, what happened? But that has nothing to do with the case. Oh, you want to tell me what the yeah, falling out was I, I about? Yeah, I want to tell you everything. Yeah, but I want to hear exactly the answers to my question. You want to tell me what the falling out was about? Oh, the falling out was about the day that I was going to, the day that my sister called me, her and my sister got into it because she got caught sleeping on my sister's couch with a dude. My sister called me the day that I was going to call her and talk to her about everything. My sister called me before she did. And when she called me, my sister said, oh, Kia hit me, da 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 da, -da. We got into it or whatever. She Physically got, hit her? Yes. We got, she got caught, she caught, you know, she got caught sleeping with the dude she was talking to or whatever on her couch. And when she called me, this I called her. So when I called her, this is my boyfriend. Okay. when I called her, okay, I said, what was going on? You know, she's like, oh, I'm gonna call you back. Cause obviously she felt shameful and she didn't want to talk about what she just got, what just happened. So she texted me a month later, which was in March, threatening me, talking about some if I didn't give her her money, um, she was going to take me to small claims okay. court. That's not a threat. Okay. That's an effort to collect money um, owed. That is a threat. That is, no, it's not. It is. Telling you, no, it's not. I'm telling you, okay, it well, is I not take it legal. As a yeah, I know. Oh, if I don't pay, you're going to sue me? Yeah, that's the, that's the exact opposite of a threat. I'm going to beat you with a bat if you don't pay me is a threat. I'm going to do what I have a right to do as a, a citizen of this guy. That's not a threat. All right. Okay, well, we so, both have different so, things about what we no, think we a threat is. Wait, yeah, mine's the right one. Okay, All that's right, fine. So now, is it magically, after this big problem with the sister, that you decide you're not going to pay for that the washer dryer? That, that wasn't the case. If you sit Why here and Why aren't you paying me... for the washer dryer? Okay, because, for one, the washer and dryer does not work. Didn't you get the video when I showed you? I sure you? did. Okay, You then. show me. We're so, going to play the video. Hold play on. Play the video. We're going to play the video. Play it. 
That's exactly what I'm going to do. Honey. Okay. I'm going to play the video. Didn't I just say I was going to play the video? Yes, yeah, so play oh. it then. Okay, well, the first thing that has to happen for me to play the video is my finger has to go from right here down here. Well, go ahead Can then. you wait that long? No, you should be able to go ahead and press it. I am, but I'm busy arguing with you about whether I'm going to play the video you're because me. you're smack talking about the video okay, just you like you smack talk to her. To like you Look at that, we missed the whole video. Good. <laughs> See, it's closing here. Now watch this. Now mind you, it's been stuck at rinse this whole entire time. Now, this whole time has been sitting there like that. So this washing machine is faulty. I'm sorry. So this was a video of the button in and the it's, washing it's machine wasn't rinse. working, and then you pull the button out and it's working. I no, could go to my washing stuck. machine and push the button in, you didn't and then hear... say, I guess it's not working, but look, if I pull it out, it's working. No, That's kind of weird. No, you didn't hear the dead noise. When when it gets to rinse, it stops, like and then I have to push it back When did you start in. having problems with the washer dryer? The, the first time I got it, she asked me, did well, I pull That's interesting, it? so can I see the text where you say to her, hey, this is I was is talking faulty. to her on the phone when I said this Do to her. Do you have her. any text where you complain about the washer dryer not working? No, she asked, but this Any time before the fight she had with your sister. No, when I talked to her back in okay. January, after she came and got her hair done, I told her, I said, something is um, not Douglas, working right with sorry, the washing machine. She said, I will check it out when I come over there. And she never did. Yeah, that happened? <laughs> yeah, I didn't think so. Girl, are you right. lying? <laughs> Angry beaver face, stop lying. You're lying. You never call me, shake my head. I will when I get off. Do you still want to buy the washer dryer? Yeah, after I move, if you've got a buyer, go ahead. I was gonna, Give it to you now, then you just give me the money at income tax time. Oh, okay, thanks. If you can get it before the 31st of the month, I'll give it to you for 250. Blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. Oh, you, ch you guys chit chat all the time. January 24th, January 25th. What day did she pick up the washer dryer? January 19th. Okay. January 30th, you're chit chatting. March 7th, you ask her for the money. And her response isn't, this is a piece of garbage like I've been telling you and it doesn't work. Her response is, hi, good morning. I'm still waiting on my taxes. I got to send some more stuff in. Yeah. Why didn't you just complain then and say, why I've should been, I pay I've you? I've been told her this on the phone. No, why no. do I have to keep why, talking to her? Why are you her? still willing to pay her March 7th if you were having problems with it June, I have January been, but 21st? But I've been told her this. Hmm? I have been told her this. Though. Yeah, I know, but why don't you tell her right now when she's trying to, when because she's hassling you for the, the money? Phone, when I've she's threatening you for the money. I mean, I've been told her this. Yeah, why don't you do it now? But what do I have to keep telling her for in a text message that yeah, the washing machine thing, doesn't work? I don't think you ever told her that. Oh, really? Well, we yeah, don't care really. what you think, do we? Oh, we actually, don't. we do. We don't. Get out of my That's courtroom fine. now. Walk out. That's fine. Walk out, Jade. Just to you the are left, a crazy to the lady. To the left, to the That's the problem. All right. Actually, she's not a crazy lady. She's crazy like a fox. She's trying to get out of paying you, mm -hmm. and all of the evidence couldn't be more forthright. So she says the washer didn't work, but by sending that text about income taxes, did she blow her case? Yes, she did. She owes for the washer and dryer. So is this like catching her in a lie? Yeah, totally, completely. You believe the washer didn't work? I believe it didn't work, but now you have to pay, and if you don't pay, there's no excuse. Fair enough, going inside the courtroom. What was the actual argument with the sister about? It wasn't over what she had stated. Yeah. So it's not enough that she takes your washer dryer and then doesn't pay for it. She also has to make stuff up about you to get you in trouble with your man? Yes. Yeah. All right. Well, guess what? She's going to pay you the $250. She's also going to pay to file the case. Um, it was like $150. She's going to pay you that $150, too. And she's been owing you the $250 since she should have had her taxes done. So you're going to get prejudgment statutory interest from that date. Thank you. Okay. Are we good? <laughs> good luck. Thank you. Well, the plaintiff, Ms. Malone, is going to get her $250, finally, <laughs> plus what you paid to file the case in court. You're going to get 400 bucks, you know, before it's over. You still are connected with her, though. You, you see her often, don't you? No, I see her sister. You see her sister? Mm -hmm. I mean, you two are at odds with each other. It's yeah. going to wonder what's going to happen now as a result. What do you think will happen in the um, future? I probably just cut ties with her sister just to be done with it. Really? Mm-hmm. Okay, well, very good. Feel better now? Yeah, I feel better. Yeah, you said you were <laughs> going to win this case. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. you. Okay, thank you very much. Good beard. <laughs>
<laughs> Harvey? Okay, I mean, getting that text from the defendant is so critical, but there's a bigger point here, that if you're in a dispute with somebody and they won't pay you, I mean, I don't know how else to say it, bait them, bait them and have text discussions. You just need that one clarification confession and then you are armed with a nuclear bomb in court.